in this video we'll take one more look at uh, calibration real quick so I can kind of verify what's going on here so I have the uh, cube object here in the scene it's back being a rigid body but now I have a cube over here that I'm going to place these guys into and these should fit even number on all sides let's see whoops not there I'm not actually calculating right now I'm just placing objects so now there's one thing I have the bounds of the cube are set right at the very edge so the collision detection should be a little more accurate but I've noticed also that if if the force at which I'm applying this object is too great I can actually punch it right through the edge like that so that's another issue I'm gonna to have to take into account of course we do have our error collection terms running around out here so all I need to do is put a plate underneath this and collect these terms and deduct those from the total but uh, it is pretty interesting the way even just these objects stack up I mean imagine this is just a landslide of dirt coming down a hill and you can see they don't always align perfectly you know you would want them to align perfectly square to be stable but in this case it's not so let's see if we can shake this guy up a little bit and you know maybe they'll just align themselves down right along the edge to maybe convince myself that you know looks like it's going to take quite a bit of shaking even where it's hmm and even that leaves voids in there that's interesting let's see what it's looking like on this side well, they're trying to squeeze in there. I guess if we did it enough, it might actually work, right? Well, we'll keep filling it up anyway. I'm going to see, whoa, we have a lot of escaping out of there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Believe me, we're not trying to solve any great scientific problem. We're having, remember, this is integral calculus from an artist's perspective. The purpose of doing this is to have fun. And in fact, in the next video, oh, we're going to crank up the fun factor. All right. So let's see. <laughs> All right. Let's. Yeah. Well, notice they are going down because they do have a limitation still set as far as the length of time that the cube is in the scene. But that's just for now. So I can test it without running into performance issues. But okay, that kind of gives me an idea what to look for. And I can see just by shaking it, even with these, that won't play into effect. I'll have to try it again another time with that being uh, non-rigid bodies and see if they'll actually align themselves better than that. In fact, maybe I'll do that in the next video or something. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.